Hello and welcome back to Old School Modeler. My name is Nick. So today we have a final on the Rust Bucket group build hosted by Mars over at Mars Garage. So I built a rebuilder that my dad brought home from, uh, it actually came out of a 66 C10 that was being scrapped. It was a total Rust Bucket and this model was inside. And my dad brought it home, and I was I was looking at it, and I figured out it was the Ravel '66 Chevy uh, Fleet Slide kit. That's uh, it's it's available right now still, but this this particular version was an early release, like from the '90s, so it was pretty old. I'm not. Not pretty old, because I you know I'm a 90s baby. Uh, so, here's what I did, did with it. Painted it, weathered it. Uh... David, I forget, I forget your channel name, but I'll, I'll link his channel down below too because he he helped out with the build. He sponsored it, <laughs> kind of, but he he gifted me the wheels and tires, the another engine, a fan shroud, the hood, and uh, center caps, which is really really nice nice of him. I really appreciate it, brother. It, is, uh, it really completed the build, and it enhanced it a little bit. Because the I, the storyline goes that this is an old used truck, maybe from a farm, or you know, it hasn't seen much salt, but it is rusty, but it's not completely rotted out. And the guy wants to fix it up, so he got himself a new set of wheels and tires, a new engine, a transmission, a fan shroud. New center caps, and he's going to fix it up a little bit. He's not going to do any body work. He's just going to put new wheels and tires on it, get it running in tip-top shape, and then keep on driving it. So as you see, I uh, weathered the wheels. I, I dusted it up and all kinds of stuff. Close up of the hood. It's all dusty and weathered. I did the salt technique on it. I probably could have chosen a, a better color because the red kind of kind of blends in with the brown base. The uh, the uh, rust oleum red primer. So here's the engine. It's all weathered and dusty and crusty and rusty and the engine is all oily and worn out. A little shot of the stuff stuff is not uh, glued down in the bed, it's just sitting in there. But I got the new center caps in there and New wheels and stuff. So get that stuff out before it falls out. I I cut off the tailpipe like it had been uh, broken off, rusted it, rusted in half, and then put soot around the, the tip and the other end this whole center section is all oily and the rear ends are oiled up from it leaking from the from the cover and the front pinion like they all do they all leak all over the place 
I'm gonna get a bunch of miles and stuff on them. You see the the muffler has been broken and rusted off. And I used my Tamiya powders, I did the soot all over the axle, the uh, shock there. The, the frames all uh, different tones of rust, like how it would be. I did do the bed, got it all dirty, old, old wood, but it's not rotted out wood. So the top side, it's weathered. You got some green moss going on, and it's not completely rotted out, but it's uh, getting there. It's really old wood. It's all rust stains, paint fade, missing the door, the driver's hand, driver, alula. Driver's side door handle. Because, like, like I said, it's a well used truck. Door handle wore out. Got a little bit of rust on the grill. It's all dusty. I put an old plate on there. Well, I put a plate on there and then I dusted it up like it would be an old plate. I didn't have any anything newer than like sixty seven as the you can't I don't know, you can't really see it but the registr registration tag is like sixty seven or something like that so I have I didn't have anything newer than that but you can see all the weather rusty bumper and dirtied up tailgate and beat up. Bed's beat up and dirty. And the tailgate, it's got some wear, scuff marks and whatnot. The interior's dirty. I'll focus, but I won't. But that gauge, gauge panel, that's not a decal. What I did, I put some craft paint in there. It's a black craft paint, and then I took my uh, hobby knife and I scraped the paint off the the raised uh, numbers and stuff and all the gauges. So it turned it white, and then I put Mod Podge over at the top like it had a lens on there. And it's not wanting to focus on it. But you can kind of see it's weathered in there. Weather dirtied. Like I said, a well used truck. But it's not completely rotted out. It's completely fixable. There was a glue blob there. So then I put some uh, flat green on there, like uh, moss has grown there. So yeah, that's my little rust bucket pickup truck I had a lot of fun with it I can see why Mars does this this is this is really fun I only do it once a year most of my builds are shiny um, but I do enjoy this this group build once a year I like doing the weathering and stuff it takes a lot of a lot of hours and a lot, a lot of layers and stuff but it's fun and this was a great candidate you know it was, it was a complete basket case glue bomb so brought it back to life so with that being said i hope hope you guys enjoyed uh thank you again mars for hosting this group build i know i didn't make the deadline on sunday but i did technically finish it on sunday night but uh thank you uh david for the the supplied parts really appreciate it brother I'll leave, I'll leave Mars' channel and David's channel down below. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe. Do what you want and build that model your way. Have a great night.